Hi there! Welcome to this new video at Visiting Dida's Countryside. For the ones who are new here, my name is Manon and I am Dutch. In this week's video we will be talking about reasons why you need to visit the Netherlands during spring season. I am Dutch, I am born and raised at the countryside, which you should absolutely visit by the way. On this channel I will be giving you the best tips and tricks to visiting the Netherlands, traveling the Netherlands beyond just the touristic places. I already have a travel blog, which is also called Visiting the Dutch Countryside. And in this video I will be giving you the best reasons why you should visit the Netherlands during spring. Reason 1. Flowers. Spring is flower season in the Netherlands, which is the most beautiful time of the year. From the end of March until the end of April there are loads of flower fields in the Netherlands and well the Netherlands is mostly known for having so many tulip fields there are actually more flowers to see. At the end of March you can see hyacinths and daffodils on the fields mid-April until the end of April generally. Um, it is tulip season in the Netherlands. The tulip season to me is amazing. It's beautiful, it's colorful, and it just makes the country even more beautiful than usual. From mid-April until the end of April, the first two days of May, you will see tulip fields in the Netherlands. And it looks like this. Unfortunately, if you're planning a trip to the Netherlands in June or the end of May, you won't see tulip fields all over the country because it's simply too late. Of course, it always depends on the weather that we've had. For instance, if we had a severe winter, that means that the tulips and the other flowers are a bit later than usual. But if we have a very mild winter, which we have this year, the tulips are usually a bit earlier. Just, just keep in mind that the end of April is always the best time. One tip that I want to give you if you visit the Netherlands during tulip season is well, the tulips are very, very beautiful flowers. Do not, and I repeat, do not walk inside tulip fields if you do not have the permission of a farmer. They're not there for your Instagram photos. Tulip fields are here because it's an industry, because people make a living out of it. And if you walk inside the tulip fields, or if you lay down inside the tulip fields or something like that, you will damage or destroy tulips and bulbs, which means eventually that the farmer has less bulbs to sell, less bulbs to plant, as well as eventually less money, less money to feed his or her family, invest in, in their company, so do not do it. There are some special places, some special fields down in the south of the Netherlands, near the area of the Keukenhof, which is also known as the biggest flower garden in the world. And there you basically take photos inside the rows of tulips that you pay for it. And it's not the same as most of the tulip fields. Do not, do not walk inside tulip fields without the permission of a farmer. Because that just makes you a bad tourist. 
which we don't want and you don't want to be. So the second reason why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because it's not high season. Well, I mean the tulips and, and everything is beautiful and a lot of people are coming to visit and to see them and to admire the beauty of the flowers, but it's not high season yet. Although I would not recommend you to head to the Keukenhof flower garden. During the weekends there are millions of visitors in just the span of a few months. It's just a bit much. It's beautiful and if you really want to see it go ahead but that's just a lot of people. <laughs> no, I, don't. I don't like people. I do occasionally prefer cats. So it's not high season but it's crowded in the area of the Keukenhof and Lisse. But there are more areas in the Netherlands where you can see flower fields. If you want to see flower fields and tulip fields without tourists, head to my description and you will find perfect links to that. But also there will be another video about tulip season uh, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Reason 3 why you need to visit the Netherlands during spring is because the sun is starting to come out again. Sun just makes you happy if you had those moody days for quite a while. I mean, moody in the Netherlands is generally just grey days. It's not that it's raining all the time or constantly. As a matter of fact, it's raining now, but that's because of the storm Venice. So, thank you very much. But yeah, so the sun comes out. People are happy, people are excited, but just generally a bit more friendly. And when the sun comes out, we as Dutch people love to sit on the terraces. As soon as the sun comes out and first rays of sunshine are falling on our faces, just go to a cafe, grab a chair, sit outside, sit down, relax, Get a drink, get some pizza ball and some typical Dutch snacks and you're settled. Reason number four why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because there are so many things to do. Head to a beautiful park for a picnic. It's a lot less fun to head to a park when the grass is completely drenched because of the winter period. So, or frozen for instance. Buy some food, make some food, head into one of the most beautiful parks in the Netherlands and you're settled. Other things that you can do during spring are for instance just long walks on the beach. While it sounds romantic, sometimes if there's a lot of wind during spring you're eating sand so it's not as romantic as it seems. But during the beautiful spring days the beach is just a perfect location. You can also rent a boat during spring or swim inside canals or you're not allowed to swim in the kennels in Amsterdam, by the way. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Before I get um, some people on, on my back. Um, but yeah, jump inside, inside of some bigger rivers or some lakes. Or... If, you're, if you do not know how to swim, do not do it. Reason number five why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because it's baby time. And I'm not talking about humans. Because we've already declared and explained that humans are not always my favorite. <laughs> So during spring it's a, it's a beautiful time of year. There are baby goats and, and little lambs just walking in, in the meadows and you will see little baby ducks and baby geese, and swans all throughout the ponds and it's just adorable. It just makes you happy. There are little fluffy animals. How can you not get happy from that? Reason number six why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because of the cheese markets. So cheese markets are all well, they used to be the market where people would sell their cheese. Their farmers would sell the cheese to trade men. Nowadays there's only one real cheese market left in the Netherlands which is in a town called Wooden. But there are four extra cheese markets where you can discover what the cheese markets in the Netherlands would have looked like. The most famous ones are in Alkmaar, Gouda and there are also two in Hoorn and Edom. I would prefer to head during spring to the cheese markets because during summer it's pretty crowded and now you, you can easily enjoy everything, enjoy the city afterwards or before and it's a lot more peaceful. Reason 7 why you need to visit the Netherlands during spring is because of Kingsdale. And Kingsdale might sound a bit weird to a foreigner because <laughs> not everyone still has kings or queens but we do. The Netherlands has a king currently. His name is uh, Willem. Fun fact, a current king. Willem Alexander. Um, he's also nicknamed Willem, but when he was still a prince, he was called Prince Prince Bills, or translated Prince Beer, because he liked to party. On the 27th of April, uh, King Willem Alexander celebrates his birthday, and it's his actual birthday. Every single year, there's a different city that organizes a special King's Day for the king and his family. So there are performances and a lot of interesting things happening. But that's not the best part of King's Day, because the best part of King's Day is that 
it's a free day for the entire country, with the exception of bartenders. And the entire country is one big festival. We are dressed up in our national color, which is orange. We head to the canals in boats and we, we drink, we party, we celebrate. So we do that and then there are lots of um, festivals held as well, in, in stadiums and in, in bars, all across the country. The night before King's Day, we celebrate King's Night, which is an extra extra party. And then in the mornings of King's Day, people are headed to the flea markets, which are all across the country by that time. I don't know why we do what we do, but it's the way it works. And then yeah, during the afternoon, people are headed to festivals and, and parties or street parties. And it's a lot of fun. It's every year on the 27th of April. However, if the 27th of April is on a Sunday, it will be celebrated on a Saturday. I believe it dates back to, to some religious uh, things of having Sunday as a resting day. But in fact, we used to have a queen, Queen Beatrix. Her birthday, well not her birthday, the birthday of her mom. Her birthday was somewhere in January, but it would have been too cool to celebrate King's Day, so uh, Queen's Day. So she decided to, to take the date of her mother, which was the 30th of, of April. And after the abdication of Queen Beatrix, there were a lot of tourists who still had the old guidebooks who arrived in the Netherlands at the 30th of April. <laughs> well, the party was on the 27th of April. I cannot believe how shitty that must have felt. Because they were dressed up in orange, waiting to party. We even have a name for them. They are called Koningedag Vergis Touristen. So Queen's Day Mistake Tourist, which is a literal translation, but you get the gist. So King's Day is one of the best reasons why you should visit the Netherlands during spring. The 27th of April, do not forget. Reason 8 why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because of the cherry blossoms. And I know Japan is very famous for cherry blossom trees, obviously, because they're from there. We also have a few trees in the Netherlands. And there are 400 trees found in Amsterdamse Bos, which is in the town that is neighboring Amsterdam. It's called Amstelveen. And here they have 400 trees, which were a gift from the, the Japan Women's Club. And there are 400 trees, 200 have a Japanese woman's name and 200 have a Dutch woman's name. So I would recommend you to visit the cherry blossom trees during the week. Not during the weekends because it's way, way, way too crowded. So the cherry blossom season in the Netherlands starts around the end of March or half March, depending on the weather. And then the beginning of April is the absolute best time to see. But it's a beautiful time and that makes spring so much more beautiful than it already is. Reason 9 why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because of the herring or herring in Dutch. So it's very famous in the Netherlands, just a sandwich with herring or just eating a herring like this. So the first fresh herring is making its way to the Netherlands in the beginning of June, which is still spring. And what I love about that is that the first, I don't know, it's a, it's a wooden box, vaatje. So the first vaatje of a fresh herring is sold, but for a good cause. General amount of money that is raised per first vaatje, <laughs> generally around 80,000, sometimes 90 or 95,000 euros. And it all goes to a good cause. So that herring season has begun. And if you are visiting the Netherlands, you cannot just, you cannot miss out on herring. The tenth reason why you should visit the Netherlands during spring is because of dancing cows. Dancing cows? Dancing cows? What do you mean? Well, cows are generally outside in the Netherlands, but during autumn, winter, so the entire season of autumn, but a big part of it, the cows are inside because it's too cold for them and there's not enough grass growing for them to feed themselves on and um, it's also not good for their legs to walk inside mud and stuff like that. When cows are allowed to go outside again, they are very happy to go outside again and to, to just run around and roll in the grass, eat some fresh grass as well. So what they do is they dance. Not the tango, but they are dancing, they are jumping, they are bumping into each other, they are playing. It's such a beautiful sight and that if you are able to witness this and whenever cows are allowed to go outside again, depends on every farm because the soil is not the same everywhere, um, but 
if you are able to see it, it's beautiful. And in the link in the description box below, you can also find one date of when it's settled that the cows are able to go outside again. And that way you can see them so happy. So yeah, those were the reasons why you need to visit the Netherlands during spring. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for new videos that are coming. If you have some questions or something like that, I'm happy to answer them down below. Check my travel blog at visitingthedeskcountryside.com as well. And I will see you next week.